All right. Um, what caused the rise of socialism in the U.S.? Because there was a lot of unrestricted government, uh, unrestricted business work in the U.S., um, there was a lot of people getting super rich, and there was a lot of people getting super poor. And there was a lot of strikes to improve working conditions because the people that were like super rich, all the industrialists, they were focused more on making money rather than um, paying their bit, paying their workers. So there was a lot of um, unsanitary conditions and like really low wages, and this led to a bunch of strikes and unions, like the Pullman strike, the <coughs> I think it was the railroad strike of 1877. And there's also unions like the American Federation of Labor and the Knights of Labor that sought to improve wages and to better working conditions. And one prominent um, socialist was Eugene B. Debs, who formed the Socialist Party of 1901. Let's see what I have. Okay, um, socialism wanted government regulated businesses after seeing the terrible working conditions in industrialization. And the social, social socialist democratic party and industrial workers of the world are led by Eugene V. Debs and youth strikes and boycotts. I think this flashcard is talking. Oh, it's, it just says rise of socialism in the U.S. So I think instead of saying why, is maybe like it's more of a how question. So good to know. But then again, for how the socialism rose, it's kind of in, in similar terms where the People or the workers wanted better working conditions and they used boycotts and strikes and they wanted a government regulated business that would help enforce the industrialist companies to make the working conditions a lot better for the workers. And yeah, one of the prominent socialists uh, is Eugene V. Debs.